Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 21st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be checking out the update query in SQL. So what is the update query used for? As the name suggests, the update statement is used to update or change values or uh, records or rows in your table, right? And uh, you generally use the update query with the WHERE clause and uh, there'll be very few cases when you wouldn't be putting the WHERE clause in your update query and those will be the cases when you want changes to happen across the table, that is across all rows in the table, right? So if you want, you know, a particular field to be affected for all rows in the table, then you use the update query without the WHERE clause. In all other cases, you would be putting in your WHERE clause in your update queries, right? And we're going to check out an example of the update statement in the MySQL environment. But before that, let's have a look at the syntax of the update statement. So the syntax is pretty simple. You have the update keyword and then you put in the name of your table on the next line, you put in the set keyword, right? That's SET. And then after that, you put in the names of the columns that you want to, you know, sort of update and, uh, you know, with the corresponding values, right? And on line number three, you put in the where condition. And since it's optional, I've, uh, you know, mentioned all of that within square brackets. So let's have a look at an example of the update statement in the MySQL environment now. So I've got my MySQL workbench and uh, you know just as we have in the previous tutorials we're going to work with the employee table in this tutorial too and it's in the test database. I'm not going to show you guys the structure of the table because I'm sure you guys are familiar with it already uh, but we're going to look at the values that we have in the table at the moment right and since I want to see all records uh, and all fields I'm going to use the asterisk symbol to pull out the data and uh, you know I'll put in the from keyword and the name of the table on line number two and when I press control enter I see that I get all the rows and there are quite a lot of records in the table and uh, the fields we already know what the fields are now let's say I want to change the age of John from 22 to 26 I'll have to use the update query you know to to do this and there are other ways of doing this by you know simply using the GUI interface and um, I'm going to talk about that in a bit but you know let's see how we achieve this using the update query so I'm going to close this result set and uh, on a fresh line I'll type in the keyword update and then the name of the table which is employee right on line number two I'll type in the keyword set then the column that I want to change or update right and in this case that is age and then I'll put in the assignment operator or the equal to symbol and the value that I want this column to have. So I want to change the age to 26. So I'll be typing 26 here. And since age is a numeric field, I don't have to put 26 within single quotes. If I was updating the name, then I would have put the new value within single quotes, right? And then on the next line, since I don't want all the records, uh, you know, to be affected, I want just John's age to be changed. I'm going to put in the where clause here and I'll put in a condition, right? So what is that one condition that uniquely identifies the record for John, right? There could be multiple entries in the table that have the value John in the name field, right? So you just want to change the value for John that has the ID 1900, right? So you have to look for the primary key here. And since in our table, the primary key is the ID field, I'll be using the ID field in the where condition. And, uh, you know, um, uh, the, the value for the ID field for John is 1900, right? So I'll put in that and a comma, uh, sorry, a semi semicolon at the end of the statement. And when I press control enter, I see that uh, I get a message in the output section that the update statement has been executed successfully. And now when I execute the select star from employee query, I see that the update rate value of John is displayed, right? So John's age now is 26. So this is about the update query. In case I would have not put this where clause in the update statement and what would have happened is that, you know, the age values for all the employees would have been changed to 26, right? So Peter's age would have been changed from 24 to 26. Howard's age would also have been changed from 29 to 26. So all rows would have been affected. But, you know, since I've included this, it restricts the scope of the update, uh, update statement to just the record, you know, where the value of the ID field is 1900 and that is a record for John. Right. And uh, another way in which you can change values in your tables and, you know, this is something that you can do in MySQL and, uh, you know, only through the workbench, obviously not through the command line interface. And this is not a part of SQL, but I'm just telling you guys in case you want to know how to do this. You know, you select a field, right, 
and uh, then you change its value, right? So if suppose I want to change Peter's age to 30, I put in 30 here, and uh, then I'll close the results. And before I close it, you know, MySQL Workbench, you know, it brings in a dialog and it asks me whether I want to apply some changes that I made to some values in the results set. If I click on apply, you know, then uh, you know it, it tells me that this is the query that I would have to execute. So it is going to execute the update statement, but you wouldn't have to type it, right? So when I click on apply, you know, it finishes it, and uh, now when I execute the select star query, I see that the updated value of age shows up. So in a sense, you are executing the update query, but you're not executing it yourself. You know, you're you sort of, you know, assigning a, the task of updating uh, of executing the update statement to MySQL. But uh, I would recommend you guys to practice the update query yourself so that you get familiar with it and you feel comfortable using it. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. I'm going to see you in the next one in which we'll discuss something interesting and important for sure and uh, take care till then.